Well, every officer can say, will you take a scrappy win if it means um, you get the three points? Um, and in your case, we take a scrappy goal if it means you get on the score sheet. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm sure, you know, you get an answer from everyone out there. Uh, I was just buzzing it was me tonight and, and uh, like I said, I'll take that all day. Talk me through the goal. I mean, it was a, it was a superb corner um, from Sam. Um, you got the final touch? Yeah, we've been working on them set pieces, whipping it under the crossbar. And um, it whipped it just above my head. The goalkeeper, I think, palmed it down. I thought he was palming it out, so I've gone to turn round. As I've turned round, it's hit my foot and gone in. So <laughs> I'll, t- I'll take that. I'm buzzing with that. And it must have felt like a goal of the season purely because it means the, the goal drought is over for the team. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, it's got um, bigger repercussions than just the, the single goal. And, um, you know, I thought that at that point was it was a turning point. I thought we started to kick on from there. Was it weighing on the players' minds? Because there's no doubt that Wimbledon came out of the blocks and, and perhaps could should have scored before you did. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, Jack made some unbelievable saves again. Um, he's he's absolutely superb and he's kept us in it. And and uh, when you got someone in that sort of form, you've got to be scoring at the other end because you know you, you know you've always got a chance. And um, like I said, he made some great saves and and we managed to sort of you know hold out and and get the win. And whether you score from one yard or 25 yards, um, for you personally, a goal, something you want to bring to, to your game here at Rovers this season? Because in the past at MK Dons, Millwall, Yeovil, you, you do score goals, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I'm playing a bit a bit deeper here and I do enjoy that. Um, but don't get me wrong, I also enjoy um, you know getting forward and and uh, taking shots and, and getting goals. So hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see. And if we needed evidence, it was your night, an own goal for the second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's um, it just summed up. You know, you did have no luck at all on Saturday. Tonight, you did have some. Yeah, and I think you know we've been waiting for that because there's been times this season where, um, you know, little things that have gone against us. You know, on Saturday where it's hit the underside of the barn and mm. it's just just dropped, just left to Cinco and little things like that. When you when you're on a run, go against you, and hopefully this can be the, the, the turn. Are you confident that's it for goal droughts and um, Rovers will find goals a bit easier to come by now? I mean, you've got two tough away games coming up. Yeah, I mean, you speak of confidence, and I think that. You know, a win and two goals. You know, no matter how you get them, it is is a massive plus. And I think you know we should take that in, into these next two games because they're you know they're going to be big games, they're tough games as every game is. And and uh, hopefully you know the confidence will change. We spoke to Marcus Stewart. Do you agree? It's probably too early to say the tide has turned. You need now to back this up with some results because you've got some away games. I think four in a row coming up now. Yeah, yeah, we've got some travelling to do. Um, you know, I do agree. It probably is a bit too early, but you know, why not? Why not start now? Thank you. Ben.